I'm Jason Cochran at George Washington's Mount Vernon, asking the question, how did this founding father keep his finances straight? What are we looking at here? What is this? This is a distillery and fisheries ledger uh, that dates to 1799 to 1801. And it's a detailed chronicle of um, Washington's commercial distillery. He was one of the, one of the few of our founding fathers that, uh, that really had a successful plantation that was not sort of in debt at the end of his life. And we even see examples of a few women that held accounts with the distillery. So for Elizabeth Washington, we see DR, which is a debit or debt, and she's purchasing 11, thousand herring um, that were caught in the Potomac River. Contra CR is, uh, is the credit. She provides Washington with barrels of corn and with barrels of rye. If you look, the, the debit is exactly to the penny the same as the credit, so he was making sure these books were perfectly balanced. Now I'll also show you um, something very special. It's a manuscript fragment um, that says Mount Vernon, October 27th, 1799, and is signed by George Washington. This was actually the this. missing piece of our ledger. Wow. And it fits right here at Reunited the Reunited after the 200 page. years. That's really cool. It's basically, you know, George Washington balancing his checkbook, just like all of us have to. Exactly.